Hi all, good morning, good evening or good afternoon based on wherever you are placed. My name is Saurav Dhani and this, in this particular video we will see how you actually check your SQL Server version that you have on your machine. People sometimes misunderstood it and you know give a different version and that causes confusion because you cannot have a high backup taken from a higher version of SQL Server and then getting it restored on a lower version of SQL Server. To know the exact version and that's where it becomes very important because of the database compatibility. So let's see what kind of mistake we do to start with. So normally people will do an open SQL Server Management Studio and use help and share that version. So let's see when it pops up. We'll see like as you can see my I have Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio V18.5 installed let's connect it and whenever people ask about details of your SQL Server uh, people tend to go to help about and share these versions the thing to note here is the version that is being specified in this is for SQL Server Management Studio not for the SQL Server and that makes it complex when you give the wrong version. So now let's try to figure out what are the different ways that you can find out what is your SQL Server version. The first one, you can always use your SQL Server Management Studio and see detail at the top, which is this 14.0100169. That's my SQL Server version. We'll see what that means as we go forward. So that's one way to check your SQL version. Other way is you can go to properties of your SQL Server and in general tab you see the version which is same as you see here. So that's the other way where you can check it. Now if you need more details about your SQL version, what type of installation it is and all, then let's figure it out that by using another way. One of the way is go to your configuration manager, SQL Server configuration management. If you don't have it as shortcut, you can always find it coming down here and then look for Microsoft SQL Server, whichever you want. I have two, so you are seeing two. If you have one, you'll see only one. And then click on the SQL Server version, whatever you have, configuration manager. Once you are here, you can click on the SQL Server properties, click on advanced and then inside that you will get two things. One is the version number and one is the stock keeping unit name. So now I know that I'm using 14.0100.169 of enterprise and using an enterprise edition. If that seems hard last but not least and there will be more ways to do it but the last one that I prefer is go to command prompt and to start with type SQL CMD so that it pops up SQL command and then write and let me zoom it in because it can be hard to read okay so hope you can see it now then the after SQL CMD you can say select at the rate at the rate version enter and then type go and click enter so as you can see I'm getting all the details here which is I'm using Microsoft SQL Server 2017 reached to marketing uh, market as in the initial build with a build number of 100.169 64-bit release when and what edition enterprise edition 64 bit on a windows 10 pro machine so to get your sql version you have three ways as we have saw seen in this video one is sql server management studio go to properties and the general tab use sql server configuration manager click on the properties of your sql server then click advanced and then go to version and last but not least which gives you all the detail is SQL CMD as in in the command prompt you can type SQL CMD 
then as soon as you get the prompt like this type select at the rate at the rate version and go and it'll show you all the details of your SQL server that is installed on your machine I know there are other ways and I I you know I just wanted to share what I use while I have to check the SQL version so let me know how you find this video uh, did it help you if you have any other thoughts what videos you want just put a comment on this video and I'll make sure that if I know about that topic I'll make sure that it becomes available as soon as possible see you next time till then bye